Rejection. We all know it sucks. So, what happens when you get rejected? I recently have been going through, I guess, a major transition and just dealing with a really big type of rejection, not getting into the DGA program. And yes, I didn't get into it. I got all the way up to, you know, top 70 and then just didn't make the cut. So, let's talk about rejection for a second here. On any level, in any realm, it sucks when it deals with relationships, career, family life, anything. It just really just no one likes being rejected. Career. Oh my god, I totally got this interview and I'm so excited. Oh yeah, that job, I just, I didn't get it. Friends. Hey, I totally need to see this movie. Oh, you don't really like sci-fi? Oh, um, relationships? I just want you to know that I really care about you and I want this to go a little bit further than friendship. Oh. You only see me as a sister type. This sort of thing is happening to somebody every single day. And to those people, I feel for you. I really, really do. The biggest rejection I ever have a hard time dealing with is obviously in the career category. You can very well protect yourself from being rejected by not putting yourself out there on the line. And part of the risk is being rejected, which sometimes it could be great. It could, you could go out on a limb and things work out, but then on the other side, it could just suck. Me, I constantly put myself out there career-wise because I just feel like I'm so ambitious and I just have to go for it. And sometimes it doesn't work out for me and it really is a hard blow to my confidence. When I get rejected, it sucks. But when I know I got into that program I wanted to, when I got into that school I wanted to, when I got that job I really, really wanted, it just makes you feel really great that you worked hard to get it. The more I put myself out there, there's actually the bigger chance that I actually am exposing myself to rejection. I've achieved a few things in my life, whether some people may think that they're awesome and they're giant achievements, some people think that they're maybe, you know, small things, but each achievement means something to me because I've had so many no's, I've had someone else out there that's better than me, I've had so much rejection and many obstacles in my way, but I've always tried to press on. My family seems to think that it doesn't faze me every time I get rejected, every time I get told no, every time someone rips me apart for having a bad resume or, you know, oh, I did crappy on this interview. They think that I'm like superwoman or something. They just seem to think that it doesn't faze me and it really, they don't see what happens on the inside. Here's what happens. Cry. Okay, over it. Cry some more. Now she's moved on to being pissed. Fuck, what do I do now? Here are my thoughts, specifically now, after I got rejected with this big program I wanted to get into. Okay, so no DGA program. What now? Should I even be in film anymore? Okay, maybe I should go to grad school now. Hmm, I'm really into nutrition. Maybe I should be a registered dietitian. I could move back to LA. Maybe I should get my master's. I probably should give New York another shot. Photography is my main focus. Focus on that. Should I just like find a husband? Damn, I can't give up on my film goals. Maybe it's a sign. You're getting so much older. You should probably have kids. That dietitian thing, grad school, maybe just try and find someone to marry. I don't really know if I want to do grad school yet. All of that involves rejection. I don't really want to deal with right now. So you can see my thought process. This is exactly my thought process in like 30 seconds time based on, I don't know, at any given moment. I really am all over the place. I begin to question just about everything, just about everything about myself, anything that I thought I had planned out, and begin to question every little thing, and my goals end up changing. It's almost like I'm looking for an easier route. At this point, I'm actually sort of getting over my rejection, but I'm really unsure what my next move's gonna be. I'm really lost. I'm just some little girl that's lost right now. When you really get rejected, I really feel like it's a test. It's a test on your personality, your strength, your how headstrong you are. Um, did you really want this? It's a test on a lot of different things about you and what you want. People who have what they want have fought for it and had to go through hell to get it. And I just have to remember those things. Anyone that's successful, has really worked so hard to get where they are. Anything worth doing and anything worth having that's a great thing is never going to be easy. For every yes that you get, you're probably going to get about 100 to 1,000 no's. And that is true for any field or any career, not just entertainment or photography or art at all. It's everything. How you deal with rejection is a direct correlation with who you are as a person. So don't let it stop you. And I have to keep reminding myself don't let this one little bump in the road stop me. So this actually helped a little bit with my rejection. So I hope it helped you.